Hey, you diecast fans and collectors. Um, I thought I would just show you what I uh, basically found this week. I may have shown you some of these cars already. Um, I can't remember. Or I may have made the videos and just not uploaded them. Uh, but if we've seen some of these already, the, they're not nothing new to my collection. So they're just cars I bought to rip apart. Um, first, we'll start with the cars that I'm not really sure about. So um, this one here. Um, I got to uh, customize. Uh, these are pretty cool. They're not very hard to find. I got a couple of them. I've seen like 10 more of them yesterday, but I don't need that many of them right now. Uh, I have something I'm doing, so I'm trying to find a lot of certain cars. Uh, I'm going to be probably doing something on this channel eventually. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but it, uh, it's going to be pretty cool once I, I do it. It's, it's uh, going to be, uh, it's not going to be my typical videos is, is uh, what I'm, I guess I'm saying. I know I didn't show you guys those ones because I just got those ones recently. I'm trying to get a bunch of these dune buggies too. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get a bunch of these as well. I have, I think about five of them right now. I, I need like, I think I need like 20 of them. I have a bunch of the Blade GT. This is a really cool car. It used to be in blue. Now they've made it in green. I prefer the blue one myself, but uh, the green one's pretty cool. Um, I forgot what this car calls. I think this car is called an RV. I'm pretty sure it's called an RV. It's RV something. It might be an RV 500. It might be. Uh, but this is the Adventure Force exclusive exclusive color. Um, you can only find this one at Walmart. So if you uh, get Maystos at like uh, five below or I don't know if you live in a different country. I don't even know if you can get this car. But this is like a Adventure Force car. So I'm looking for a bunch of these too. I want a bunch of those as well. Um, and then I, I like Jeeps. So I, I saw a couple of these and I grabbed them. Um, customized right there. All the cars I just showed you, those are also for customizing. Um, so yeah, I got those to customize. Um, I got this van to customize. Uh, I got this truck. These are really hard to find. I don't know why these are hard to find. I found more Nissan Godzillas than I have of these, which is weird to me. But yeah, uh, I got a couple of these right here. Um, another, speaking of it, here's another one I got for customizing. Um, and then we'll go some more cars for customizing. Uh, no, that's a new one. Uh, you can call me a scalper if you want to. I went into a uh, Dollar Tree yesterday and, uh, I found me some Rivians. <laughs> oh crap, I just knocked over the camera. Um, there are several of them here. There are, I think I bought five. Yeah, there's the fifth one. Um, I think these are still kind of hard to come by. I saw a lot of the FedEx truck too, but I didn't want it. I, I already have one. I don't want any more. I don't like FedEx anyway. Those are most of the time the dummies that almost hit me on my bike. Them and UPS, they're, they're dumb. I don't like them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, these... So how many Rivians do I have now? I have one in my collection, and I think I have two in my uh, box of cars to paint already. So I have eight Rivians. Wow. Um, I don't know if they're becoming easier to find. I don't think so because I have not seen them at any other store yet. I've only found them at Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for Rivians, go hit up Dollar Tree because... That's where I've been finding them. I have eight of them now. I have one in my collection and seven of them to paint. Um, and now I guess we'll go over the loose cars I picked up. These weren't loose. Uh, these were actually uh, like, um, I don't know if you guys have heard about the color revealers Hot Wheels. Uh, I didn't like them at first because people said they, they, they were garbage because you couldn't get the color off them. 
Uh, but it's actually not that hard to get the color off them. All you got to do is uh, put them in that barrel and swirl them around like a washing machine. And most of it will come off. I actually kept the barrel because it looks kind of cool when you shake it. It looks like a, a silver lava lamp. These were silver when I got them. I'll probably put a picture of them up in the corner or something. I took a picture of them before I took the stuff off them because I thought they looked neat. Um, I can do that on this phone because I'm using this phone. I, I had to edit this video because I had to make it louder because this is really quiet. This phone's bad. It's got a bad mic. But uh, we got a bulletproof, and I, I think this is a – is this a blitz speeder? Um, yes. Yes, it is. Bulletproof and a blitz speeder. Uh, I'm probably going to get more of these because I actually noticed there's some castings in these that they don't exactly make anymore um, from my childhood. Like they've got the, um, I forgot what that car is called. The, I think it's called the Stealth. It looks like it looks like a, one of those Stealth Air Force jets, but it's a car. Um, and they got a few other older castings in there too, like the Baby Stroller Dragster. There's one of those. That, that's in Series 1. I don't know if you can even find Series 1 that much anymore. Uh, I have been seeing a lot of Series 2. I don't know if there's a Series 3. I know Monster Trucks. There's now Monster Trucks in them too. They're quite expensive. They're about $12 where I bought them. It might just be because Myers is quite expensive on most things. But um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, this one, when you get it, I think warm, it, ch yeah, when you get it warm, it changes purple. And then this one, when you get it warm, it changes that slightly darker color. That's how I might be able to just get them to change by the heat from me. Maybe. Nope. Never mind. But yeah, it changes that slightly darker that you're seeing. That I like this one. I really like the color of this guy. And it has DD8s too, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, those are... Um, people say that these were... I watched a few videos on these, and people say they're bad because after you get the stuff off them, it like gets stuck in them, and they don't roll very well. They roll pretty well to me. I, I like them. I've watched a couple of people who said they're not that good because, you know, that they, they shouldn't do that to them. But I... I mean, it's kind of dumb, yeah, that they put that stuff on them. And maybe, maybe I got the easier ones because I got the chrome ones. Maybe the other colors are harder to remove. I don't know because uh, I know there's orange and I think red are the other colors for series two, series one. So um, yeah, but uh, now I will show you guys the cars I got at a uh, Goodwill and um, a store that's near me. Um. This is cool. I don't have many of these in my collection. This thing is very weird. It's like half a car, and then it's got... It, like, half of it's missing, and then, like, it's sticking out. I don't know. It's a very weird car. I don't know if it's based off of a real race car or not, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, uh, this is a off-brand of... um. I, I don't know the name right now of the Hot Wheels casting, but this is definitely... um. Like uh, a bootleg of, um, oh, I don't know what it's called. Is it called the Super Tuner or something like that? It's, uh, there's not really any iconic color of it neither that I can say. So um, I don't think there is. But yeah, I, I'll, I'll do a video on some of these cars some days because uh, I do have some cars. I specifically hunt for cars like this that are knockoffs of real castings. I really like it when I find um, fantasy knockoffs. So, I mean, licensed ones are cool, like when they have licensed knockoffs of certain cars. It's kind of cool. But I I more prefer it when they're fantasy cars. I think it's really cool to have a knockoff fantasy car. And it's in great condition, too. Like, it's barely been played with. It's pretty cool. It rolls pretty well, too. But, yeah. Um, I think this is called the Drifta. So it drifted in. Uh, these are pretty cool. Um, I got this to customize. I already have this car. It came in a five-pack. I got a long time ago when I was younger. Or maybe it wasn't that long ago. I don't remember. But, yeah, I have this car already brand new. This one's not in better shape than mine. I don't even need to look. So that's a custom. Get out of here. Um... This actually, if you go on the Hot Wheels wiki, does not, I, I don't believe it shows up. I had a color I looked up on the Hot Wheels wiki and like the 
the database of cars and I had a color of this car that is not on there. I think this is it, but I don't know, but it's not on there. And I don't know if that means it's rare or if it's fake or what, but it's, it's really not on there and I don't know why, but pretty cool car. Looks like an Acceleracers type car. I think that's what it is, but it's not an Acceleracers version, sadly, but that's a custom. So let's get it out of here. I know for a fact I do have that one. Sorry if you guys hear that garbage is here. Um, I got this Jeep. I have the red one. I've had the red one of this for a very long time. I did not know there was a blue version. I prefer the red one, but this blue one's pretty cool. Can't nice one to add to the collection. Can't be upset about that. Beautiful. It's in good shape too. The wheels aren't bent too, which surprised me. A Ryula LS. I love these. I think that's what they're called. They're called Ryula LSs. Um I got those for customizing. You do not come across these very often. I mean, maybe where you live, you do, but where I live, I do not come across these very often um, at thrift stores and stuff. So whenever I find one, I get super excited because I like the Ryula LS. It almost looks like a sedan of like a Chevy Camaro. It's pretty cool. I like it. I love this car. Those are for customizing. I don't know. I might keep the orange one. I think I might replace mine because I think this one's in better shape than the one I have. This one might be too, the Wonder Woman. These might be replaced, but I, I definitely am going to customize ones like these. Uh, this is cool. Whenever I find these, they never have the Mohawk, sadly. Um, luckily, I have a few of them that have Mohawks, but I don't know if the Mohawk on this one was supposed to be blue. It probably was because most of the ones I have match the Mohawk to what's on the bottom. But I don't know. They might all... I think they're all actually supposed to be black, so I think... I don't know, but yeah, it's missing it. it. It's cool looking, but it's missing the Mohawk. I think I got this one from Goodwill. Hopefully one day I find another one that's in either better shape or worse shape, but it has the Mohawk. I don't buy it to get the Mohawk. Toyota RAV4 Rescue Truck. I got this to customize, I think, because I have a couple of these already. I think I have a gray one, and I have this one. Or is it yellow? I don't remember. But I have uh, another color of this rescue one, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I do. Maybe it's red. I don't know, but I would keep this, but I don't come across these very much to customize, and I would love to make my own color of one of these. Because I do have some in my collection, but they're all different. And I can't customize them, so I'm probably going to keep this guy to customize. A Mercedes 6x6. I believe the one I have in my collection is red. So, this one's getting kept. Definitely getting kept. Going over there in the keep pile. I bought this for customizing. This car is kind of cool because it adjusts. That helps it on tracks and stuff. And it does make a difference. I remember when I was younger playing with, I think, one like exactly like this. And it does help. Does it have rusty axles? Yeah, actually, it doesn't. It's in pretty good shape. Dang, I hate to customize this, but I already have it. Mine's in better shape than this one. But, yeah, I'm going to customize that guy. I find these all the time. These are from McDonald's. Um, I bought this to customize. Like I said, I'm trying to get a lot of the same of certain cars. Mostly like uh, 90s Hot Wheels models, like ones I really remember when I was a kid. A plane car. I know my friend's probably going to make a joke about that. But, um, yeah, my buddy actually gave me one of these. I think it was green or it was silver. I don't remember. It, might been. it was orange, I think. I think it was an orange one. Uh, but the thing that was interesting about this one and why I bought it is because the ones I have have six wheels. This one has four, and then it has, like, a cover over the back, which I thought was really neat. I know. I think this is, like, a newer version of the casting because I know Hot Wheels to cut costs. They got rid of a lot of the... Well, I think they got rid of all the six axle, the three axled cars, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Gonna look cool with the other ones. 
a fan a van dango i love the van dango these things are cool uh these are definitely ones i i remember from my childhood when i see these they remind me of when i was a little kid i love these things i didn't have this one this probably isn't that old of a one though because it's a plastic based one and i think when they when i was younger they were metal i had a yu-gi-oh one that was blue with pink rims i think i still have it actually but um yeah i love these these are really cool and that's definitely a keeper i don't have that one i'm gonna have to do some research i think this probably came from a five pack most likely Usually, that usually you can sometimes tell if a car is from a five pack, uh, just by looking at it. Like with me, I can. Like this one looks like it's from a five pack or a special series or something. This does not look like one you just buy for a dollar. Something about it looks off. Twin mill. That's for customizing. And then these are the last two I have. These are for customizing. I find these so much. I love getting the tires off them because they have very unique tires. You see the tire right there. Look at that. And since I got two of them, I can actually make a lifted vehicle with these back wheels. And then I can make probably another lifted truck with these front wheels. I don't think these are very rare. If they are... I'm still ripping them apart because I don't really care if something's rare. If I have a bunch of it or if I have more than one, I, I do what I do with it. That's what I do. I don't care about value. I collect because it's fun. and Well, sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's a pain. But, yeah. Just like right now, I'm so mad at Target because uh, we're going to get to that in a second. Um, let's just show you guys what I uh, one I found at the Dollar Tree yesterday. I didn't have a gasser. There's still a lot of these, too, if my buddy's wondering. There's... There was a bunch of these, so there's probably one still there, bro. Um, but these make me mad. I really hope they come out with these in a set like they did the first series, because uh, these are two different sets, and I was only able to find these two cars. Forget me probably finding that Nissan up there, right there. Forget me probably finding that one out in the wild. But um, people are selling these for 60 bucks on eBay for the whole set. I mean, that's not terrible because it's like 30 to buy the whole set on your own. But I, I'm i going to try to find them. I'm going to go to a couple of Targets this week and see if I can find all the rest of them before I go pay in scalper prices. But, uh, yeah, this one probably was not an easy one to find. This was the only one they had there of this set. I keep seeing um the... Ranchero, I think, or that might be an El Camino. Uh, I've seen that Firebird a couple of times. Um, and I've seen the Mercury. And I have seen the Charger. And I have all the first set. I actually went all the way to another state to get those when they first came out. I heard they got a new box. And I was like, yo, save the whole box for me. I want to buy the whole box. And they're like, oh, okay, we will. And that, that's why I got to do is I got to catch the store and they get in the box, but like save me the whole box. I want to buy them and they'll do it because I tell them I'm coming on a bike and they feel bad for me. They're like, oh, all right. Yeah, we'll hold them for you, buddy. So, yeah, that's my way of getting stuff. But yeah, I got this one for my girl because she likes Shelby's pretty cool. I like that. It's a nice color, too. It's beautiful. This one's weird. I thought it was messed up at first, and that's why nobody wanted it. But you can see on the card, it is supposed to be like that. It's cool, but it's weird. And they had one of these in the last set, too. It just didn't have the spoiler. That's why I put my phone on Do Not Disturb when I do this, usually. And I forgot to this time. Um, but, yeah, guys, that is everything I picked up within the last time I made a video. Within, like, I think a week. I think. Was it a week? I don't know. It might not have been quite a week, but I don't think I'm going to find too much more. Um, cause my area is getting real dry. I went really far yesterday. I went to a couple of different towns and they had all the same stuff I have right now. It's just, I think D case everybody has, and it's making me mad. I want to find some new cars. It's just everything's stuck on a case I have. So yeah. But, all right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later and, um, thanks for watching. And I hope, uh, you appreciated the tripod I did. I'll, I'll try to do this more. All right, guys. Bye.